Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is my pets pick my makeup challenge. So Josh and I actually had a lot of fun filming this and if you're wondering why I'm barefaced right now, it's because I didn't want you to see the final product in my intro. So if you're excited to see what my animals pick for me and you're curious to see how the makeup look comes out, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so I got my bin here, trying not to give anything away of the stuff that my animals picked out for me. How I'm going to do this video is I'm just going to show you guys the clips of everything Everything that my animals picked out for me and then we'll come back and I will go ahead and put everything on I hope you're excited because I'm very proud they did so good okay guys so first up we have arrow Josh is holding him still over there he's patiently waiting a treat so the first category is brow products go ahead let him pick brow pomade it is okay next up is brow gel go pick one pick one Nope. Oh, look at him changing his mind. <laughs> okay guys, so for brows, he picked the Gimme Brow Sample, so I've never used it before. I'm excited to try it. Now we're going to go ahead and do eyeshadow primer. All right, Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. All right guys, next we're gonna do eyeshadow palettes. Go ahead. Celestial Thunder Dominique Cosmetics. Okay guys, next category is eyeliner. Let him go, Dad. He always goes to the same side. Okay, that is the Sugar Heavy Duty Coal Eyeliner. Okay guys, next category is mascaras. Josh is trying to make sure Arrow doesn't pick the exact same side every time. <laughs> Look, what dork! <laughs> That's the benefit their real mascara, which I also haven't tried yet, so I'm really excited for that too. Okay guys, next up is lashes. Eat some, eat some. I know you ain't full of treats yet. Okay, <laughs> Salon Perfect 614s. Okay, next up is primer. All right, Arrow, get a treat. He's the worst. <laughs> okay, Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm it is. Okay, you guys, so this is Thor. We brought her out to see if she would do it. Next category is foundations. All right, Daddy, let's see if she does it. Yeah, about to go to the treats. Thor, you just skipped over the treats. <laughs> Thor's not social. All right, you guys, Thor does not want to participate, so we decided to bring Arrow back since he's being such a good sport and doing so well. And <laughs> foundation. Ah, I wish he just would stop picking that side. Okay, that is the Rimmel Stay Matte Full Coverage Foundation. Okay, concealer. Oh, okay, switching it up. Elf Camo Concealer. Okay, now we're on to loose setting powder. <laughs> Pretty vulgar, the powder room powder. <laughs> okay guys, now we're on a pressed powder. That's it, he's a lefty. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finished Powder. Okay, Arrow Bronzer. <laughs> Hula by <Bye> Benefit. <laughs> All right, next up, highlighters. Okay, Jaclyn Hill, you got good taste. Okay guys, next up, blush. Oh, Love Struck by J Cat Beauty. I see, I see. Cats. <laughs> Alright guys, we decided to bring the dogs along too. So this is Ace. He's going to be participating next for lip liners. Alright. Get one. Okay, color pop. Alrighty, Ace lipstick. Get one. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Maybelline. Hey. All right, so we only have two categories left, lip gloss and setting spray, so we decided to bring Chance in as well. So lip gloss. All right, Chance. Get one. Chance, go get one. Bubba. Hey, get one. Come here. Take it. Good, Good boy. boy. Color pop so juicy. Okay, you guys, last category, setting sprays. Let's go, Chance. Chance, take it. Take it. Bubba. Go get a treat. <laughs> Bubba, come get a treat. You, use your nose. Get a treat. He's old, guys. Good boy! That's the pixie good fixing miss. Oh my gosh, you guys, aren't they so cute? They did so good. I was so proud. As you can see, I outlined my brows, so I kind of cheated a little bit because Arrow picked a brow pomade. And I know I already showed you guys, but this is my basket of everything that my animals picked. Brows are always first, of course. So Arrow picked a brow pomade, which is fine. I love my brow pomades, but I always outline my eyebrows with a pencil first, so I didn't really think that through. But if you're curious what I used, I used the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil in the shade 262 Black Brown. 
So yeah, I did cheat a little bit. I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade a Light Brown now. We're going to use this to fill in the brows. Okay guys, so these are some intense brows, but we're gonna go with it. Hopefully the look makes up for it. I just haven't done brows like these in a while, but that's okay, I'm good with it. Next thing is eyeshadow primer. Arrow picked the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So this is what we're going to be using to prime our eyeshadow today. I'm just going to be taking this Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush, and I'm going to be dipping it in putting it all over the lid. Okay, and then for eyeshadow, Arrow picked the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. So I've never used this before, I've also never swatched it, but it doesn't have a eyeshadow, like an eyelid setting shade. So I am going to use the pressed powder that Arrow picked out, and oh my God, it looks so dirty. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade two medium. So I'm just going to use this to set my eyelids really quick. You don't have to do this. Some people don't like to set their eyelids. I just always do. I feel like it makes the rest of the shadows blend really evenly over the eyes. So it also doesn't have a very good transition shade in it. I'm gonna swatch these really quick. They're all very pigmented. The mattes are all like very pigmented. Ooh, well, except for that zero gravity shade, the gray colored shade, it doesn't seem super pigmented. Okay, guys, so I'm actually just going to take this orange shade. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. It's called Lunar Eclipse. So I'm going to go in with a very light hand because I have no idea how pigmented this is, but it seems pretty pigmented. I think it's working well as a transition shade. So I'm just going to continue to build up that orange until I get it to the intensity that I want it. This orange shade is super pretty. So I think that's about the intensity that I wanted. I think I like it where it's at. So now I'm going to take this AOA Studio E130 brush and I'm going to dip in to the shade Storm Dust, which is the brown shade in the palette. And I'm going in very gentle to start because I don't know how pigmented it is. And we're going to put this in the outer V and slightly up into the crease. These eyeshadows are blending so well. Dominique Cosmetics has one of the best formulas for eyeshadows of all high end, honestly. Now we're just gonna do the same thing to the other eye because I like how this eye looks. This brown has a very orange undertone. It's kind of like a really deep burnt orange. And I really like how it looks with the other orange in the palette. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take this little flat marbled brush and I'm actually going to go in with Fireball. I'm gonna put Fireball all over the lid. I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray and I'm going to dip it into Fireball and we are going to put this on the lid. And it's not coming off with a whole lot of pigment. Let's try our finger. Finger is much better. I thought it was a little more bronzy when I swatched it, but it has a really intense pink shift to it. I mean, it still looks okay on the eye because everything else has a pink shift to it as well, but it's not exactly what I was going for. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take that brush and I'm actually going to dip it into Eternal Light because Eternal Light looks like a topper shade to me and it's kind of glittery and I just wanna put it like on top of what we got going on. I mean, it's all right. Still not really what I wanted and what I was going for. Okay guys, so Eternal Light, the light glittery shade in the palette has a tremendous amount of fallout. It doesn't wanna come off and I don't think I like that. But I cleaned it up the best that I could. I'm going to quickly put on mascara and then I'm going to put on lashes. So the mascara that Arrow picked is a new one to me. I have not used this yet before. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. So we are just going to curl our lashes really quick and pop this on the top lashes. Okay, so this mascara definitely gives you a lot of length and it separates your lashes very, very well. Wow. 
have to get that here in a little bit now. I got mascara marks on both lids, but I actually really like this mascara. It does a really good job at lengthening and separating your lashes. It doesn't give you a whole, whole lot of volume, but if you're just going for an everyday natural eye, mascara is on point. Okay, next up is lashes. So these are the lashes that Arrow picked. They're the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. You can get these at Walmart for like $2. I wore these once before and I really do enjoy them. Okay guys, so while we wait for lashes to be done, I am going to get into the skin. So the first thing that Arrow picked is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm Primer. So I have never used this before. I'm a little nervous. How do I open it? Oh, it's a twist. Fancy. Ooh, it's got an odd texture. Okay, so not filling in pores whatsoever. Feels a little tacky though. So first impression so far is that if I were to use this primer, I would use it over top of a pore filling primer because your girl has huge pores. I don't know if you guys can see them. I have huge pores and they have to be filled in or else my makeup looks awful. <laughs> We're gonna roll with it today because it's a good bit of first impressions today. It did make my skin really tacky though, so that's probably pretty good. So while I let that set, I am going to go off camera and pop on my lashes and then I'll be right back. Now that my primer is really good and set, it's still nice and tacky, so I think it is going to make my makeup last throughout the day. Arrow also picked a brand new foundation for me to try out. So this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Lightweight Mousse Flawless Finish full coverage mattifying foundation and I got the shade 102 light buff. So I'm actually really excited to try this. So it says feather light liquid mousse blends flawlessly for natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfect matte baby soft finish. Lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy. Good. So it just is like a squeezy tube. I'm actually just gonna squeeze a little bit out on the back of my hand. So it's definitely like a moussey texture, but it looks really dark for the shade 102. So I mean, I guess we'll see. It's very thick. We will see how this goes. So it's a little dark, so we'll try and blend this down the neck. I will say it's very full coverage. That's no doubt. I'm also realizing that you don't need much of this foundation at all. A little bit goes a very long way, which is really good. That means you won't go through product super fast. So I'm just blending down the neck to make sure that we match. And I'm gonna take what's left on the back of my hand and just kind of pounce it all over. But my overall first impression is it looks really good over my pores, even though I didn't use a pore filling primer. It looks slightly cakey, but I did use a lot because I didn't know how much I needed to use, so that's my fault. The color, of course, is a little dark for me, but I mean, that's what happens, you know, trial and error. It might actually apply really well with a brush because it's a whipped formula, so I'll have to try that next time. I should have did half my face with a sponge and then the other half of the brush, but I didn't even think to do that. I think I really like it so far. We'll see how it looks at the end of this video, though. Okay, so next thing Arrow picked out was the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And mine is in the shade Fair Warm. So it's really light, so I try just not to use a whole, whole lot at all. You don't need much of this concealer anyway. So I just kind of dab little bits on. I'm going to blend that out with my sponge. So far, so good. This concealer looks really good over top of this foundation. So that's a plus. Okay, so this is how it looks blended out. I think you can see that it is really brightening, which is a little much for me, but it doesn't look bad. I'm okay with it so far. So the next thing Arrow picked out was the Pretty Vulgar The Powder Room setting powder. Powder. And this is in matte about it, which is just their translucent setting powder. I've never used this before. I've had this for a really long time. I've got it in boxy charm, but we are going to attempt to use it today. It's really deep and I like that. I think I'm going to use it with a brush. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics number two brush and we're going to just lightly tap in the sifter and tap back and we're going to set our under eyes with this powder. So the powder is really soft on the skin. Doesn't add any extra coverage, anything like that. It just sets, which I like. I really like how it feels. It's very finely milled. I have to keep trying it though and let you guys know how I feel about it. Next thing, I'm just going to take my same Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I'm going to set the rest of my face with this. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Powder Brush that I use literally in every video, every day, and we're just going to set the rest of our face. What the F is that? 
This is a very finely milled powder, so you don't need to use a whole, whole lot. This is a very soft pressed powder. So real quick, we're gonna jump back into the eyes, back into the Celestial Thunder palette, and I am just going to mix these two shades right here, and we're going to put those on our lower lash line. So now I'm just going to take this little AOA Studio E132 pencil brush with no product on it, and I'm just going to blend these out. So overall thoughts on this palette, this was made specifically for BoxyCharm, so that's how I received it. I really, really, really enjoy the mattes in this palette, but I'm a little, if on the shimmers. I'm actually shocked because I really love her shimmers in the latte palette. They're very, very intense and soft and buttery. These ones don't really feel as buttery and they don't have near as much pigment as I thought they would. And this one, I can feel the glitter shards in it and it looks pretty swatched, but when I go to put it on my eyes, it's almost sheer and all you can really see is the glitter. So I wasn't very impressed and I really, really don't like blacks with glitter in them. I just never have. So this is not something that I will ever use. And I don't typically like this cool of a tone owned brown, kind of gray, and they usually end up being really patchy on me. I won't speak for these two shades because I didn't use them, but these mattes swatch very well. They blend really well, and I enjoyed them a lot. Okay, so Arrow did pick an eyeliner. I'm sorry that Arrow kind of did everything. The reason we chose him is because he's very treat-driven, so it was easy, and he went right for it every time. Thor was not having it, so we ended up not even forcing her to try. And then the reason that I put the dogs at the end was I thought my shepherd would kind of just fly into the treats and act like a crazy dog. <laughs> So I didn't want him to break any of my stuff. But then at the very end, we decided to let them try and they both did so well. So I wish we, that we would have let them participate a little bit more, but it is what it is. Arrow picked this green eyeliner. <laughs> so we are going to use this in our waterline today. This is the Sugar Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal Eyeliner in the shade 03 Green Light. I'm actually kind of excited. I hope it doesn't look bad, but we're gonna put this in our waterline and see what happens. Okay guys, so I'm actually really impressed with the green eyeliner. I actually think it looks really pretty in this look and I'm very impressed with how well my animals did picking these products so far. So I'm actually just going to head and use a little bit of this Benefit Their Real Mascara on my lower lash line. Hopefully I don't get it everywhere like I did the top because this was really hard to get off. I'm not sure if it is waterproof or not, but it was really, really hard to get off the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the lower lash line really quick. Okay, now before I forget, I'm actually going to use brow gel. And this is a sample of the Gimme Brow brow gel. I'm not even sure what the shade is if we're gonna be honest. So it says to twist and pull. Oh wow. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is very dark. Okay, guys, that was a very intense brow gel, not something I am super used to using. I like to use a clear brow gel because then the brows that are around the eyebrows don't get coated and they don't look super crazy. So right now I feel like my eyebrows are looking real crazy, but they look very fluffy, that's for sure. So next thing my animals chose was bronzer and Arrow picked the Hula Benefit bronzer. So this is what I use to contour a lot, so I don't know how it's going to look as an actual bronzer, but we are going to go in with it and we are going to test it out. I'm also going to use this to contour my nose. So this is the BH Cosmetics Number no. 5 brush and we are going to contour our nose and under our lip as well. So the next thing is highlight and I'm so excited about this because Aero picked the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder in the shade do me. And I haven't used this yet. I bought it when I couldn't afford it. I still bought it because I wanted it so bad and I did not use it yet. So I'm so excited to test this out. And I wanted to test it out as a regular highlighter before I tried to test it out as an all over powder because everybody talks about how intense it is. I bought a brush too. I bought the Jaclyn JO2 brush. I'm just going to use what's in the top and see what happens. Okay, there was not much in the top at all. So let me dump some into the lid in case I have some in the lid. So it is very subtle. So we're going to have to build this up. Oh, this will be a beautiful all over powder but I'm just using it as a highlight today. This is a beautiful powder because it is a powder. I am going to put it on my chin and the center of my forehead. Wow talk about dew. This is so pretty. I am very impressed. I can't believe I haven't used this before. That's insane. And I really like this brush. This is a really good brush. Okay, and then the last face product is blush. And Arrow chose the Love Struck Blusher Bronzer by JCat Beauty in the shade 101 Sweet Pea Pink. 
So this is a very pigmented blush and I really enjoy it. So we're gonna go in and put this on our cheeks. Okay, so the last thing we have is lips. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. And we have a lip liner, a liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss. The first thing that Ace chose is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. And I love this lip pencil, so I'm really excited. So I'm just going to line and fill in my lips with this, and then we will come back and get into the liquid lipstick. So this is what the lips look like lined and filled. And then for liquid lipstick, Ace chose the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Color Sensational Lip in the shade 10 Nude Flush. So it's a little bit of a pinky toned lip, kind of a nude. So we are going to go ahead and put this on our lips. So this is what the lips are currently look like. I am in love with the combo so far, like super in love. Like I'm in love with this whole makeup look, I'm not gonna lie. So the lip gloss that Chance chose is the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Easy Does It. So we are going to put this on just the very center of our lips. And I actually am going to squeeze it out and put it on my finger. Okay guys, so the last thing to add is setting spray and Chance picked that as well. And he picked the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist which is one of the ones I love. As you can tell, it's like half empty. So we are just going to shake this up and spray this on our face. I'm gonna take my sponge and pat the setting spray in. I always get setting spray all over the front of my shirt. Am I the only one? <laughs> But okay, you guys, so this is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Josh and I really enjoyed having the animals pick my makeup and filming with the animals. It was a lot of fun. I am in love with how my makeup look turned out. I love the eyeshadow. I love the lip combo. My skin even looks really good. The only thing that I'm worried about is I have a little bit of smile lines and I never, oh my gosh, I just got lipstick. Okay, but like I was saying, the only thing that I'm a little worried about is I have a little bit of smile line creasing which I usually don't get, but I think it's because of the primer that I used. I really enjoyed the primer. I just definitely would use a pore filling primer with it. Other than that, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed the foundation. I've used the concealer before, but I really like how it looked with this foundation for this look today. I really enjoyed the mascara, but the completed look I am in love with. I think it looks so good. I haven't done my makeup in so long. I really, really enjoy it. And I hope you guys did too. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoy seeing my animals and seeing them all pick out my makeup. Sorry, Thor was a little bit of a letdown, but she's she's a stressful kitty, so we didn't want to stress her out too much. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post, which is Thursdays at 3 p.m. And I hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.